Hey, sweet pea, you okay out here? I don't think Doc feels good. Uh, me neither. bunch of force to break away all this rust and whatnot before I can pry anything free. That'll crack a skull just fine. Nice. bunch of force to break away all this rust and whatnot before I can pry anything free. There's gotta be a better way to do this. Shit, this is it. Instructions on starting the engine. Damn, pages are gone. I can kind of see the indentations from the writing. Perfect. You can read it now? Yeah, should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds good.
son of a bitch! Whatever you did, lit the dash up! So far, so good. Now we're talking. Shit! We're golden! Yeah, we are. Golden. Man, it feels good. Let's fucking enjoy this. Mom, let's see if she'll move. comes to worse. Boxcar is safe enough to sleep in. I better get back to it. How you doing, Ben? I'm watching the girls and not working on a mega cool train. What do you think? years. Damn it. Of course, we're still attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck and get us unstuck? Yeah. Kenny, we're loose! You touch any of my stuff? Who are you? They 
guy who owns that stuff. I guess it's no worse for wear. Name's Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. That your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab? Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. You're still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warm to me right quick in direct sunlight. You met Chuck? Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy, Ben too. Kitty? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. <coughs> I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on... Uh... Stay with us. We'd like the company. How you doing, Ben? I'm watching the girls and not working on a mega cool train. What do you think? Hey, Chuck. Howdy. Where are you from? You live around here? Georgia boy. You saw where I live. Why are you alone? Why not? Seem to be doing all right. Fine, then. I'm sorry. I do like being around y'all, actually. It's nice. You caught us on a bad day. Mm. You still got a couple of kids, and this one's got a good spirit. That's some kind of something. I'll talk to you later. Hope so. So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Wanna ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. Haven't found anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Duck's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. He's getting sicker. Let me look at him. Is the train really a good idea with Duck like that? Maybe we should focus on one thing at a time. Yes. What can we do here? We get on the train and we find something better. That is the plan. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through! Get on, Kent. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going.
Gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. There were more of us. Dad, get them? Yes. Oh, it's a shame. Lee! Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What's up? If you get that off his face, my hands are full here. Could you just get that off his face, please? He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Please. Stop the train. I said stop the train. Make me. I don't know what the hell is wrong with you, but you need to lock it up. Be a man here. Oh, you want a piece of me? Is that it? I just want to talk, Ken. Relax. Then talk. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. You're in denial! And you've given up! On Duck, on everyone! Stop it, goddammit! Fuck you, Lee. You're gonna listen. Or what? Knock this shit off. So, you wanna fight then? Let's just talk, man. Whatever. How many sons are you gonna let die? Shut your mouth! Need you. I told Kaja I'd get you to stop this, and you bet your ass I'm good. You don't even have a child. You don't know what this is like, you fucker. You're not helping my family. You're not helping Clementine. You're not helping anybody. I've had your back. Don't make me fucking regret it. You want to hurt people because you're afraid. Losing duck ain't enough for you. Because you're fucking lose everything acting like this. I'll fucking kill you before I let that happen. The boy's been bit. 
In case you haven't figured that out. Take as long as you need. There ain't no time left to take. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if... what if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cat. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here or nothing. Oh, fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No, you don't have to. God, you fuck. I, I, I can. I can do this. I'll do it. No. It should be apparent. No parent should have to do something like this. Please right, Cat. We can say our goodbyes and just let that be it. I don't know. Lee, you'd be doing this family a great service. Why don't we take him into the forest? So Clementine doesn't have to see. Yeah. Give us a moment to say goodbye. Of course. Take Clementine into the train. Go. It'll be fine.
Ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there about whether whether or not you folks want company. I shot the kid, you know. I suppose someone had to. Yes. You should sit in. Be safe up here. You betcha. up here? I don't know. I just uh, want to look over one with Clinton so she has any of the land once we get to Savannah. I mind if I get by you for a second, Kitty. Can you just leave me alone? You mind if I look in there for a second? I really wish you'd just leave me alone. Full of maps and documents. I was lucky enough to get it working once. Get out of here. What's your problem? Mind if I get by you for a second, Kitty? Can you just leave me alone? Hey. There aren't many of us left. 
<laughs> yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude if he sticks around. But we're all homeless. You know what I mean. There's not much use in describing people by who they were. Yeah, I guess not. Carly didn't have to die, you know. She would have killed me instead. Yeah, maybe. See you. Yeah. Hey, Ben. Hey. See you. Yeah. The door to the boxcar. It's a fifth of whiskey. train much longer. He's lived here a while. They look clean enough. Hey, Clint. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh... He explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you. But there are some precautions we have to take. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay. What should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and, uh... Tidy up a little. So you can't get grabbed so easily. I'd like that. Good. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. To aim, you look right down the top, through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? When you're ready to shoot, make sure you're not breathing too hard. And then hold your breath. Right when you pull the trigger. Like when I'm swimming? No, just for a quick second. I found that if I did that, it's a lot more accurate. It's tough, but it'll help. I can do that. Okay. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. You okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. Steady now. Almost got it. Okay, a little higher. Close. Now keep it steady. Aim lower. Bit to the right. A little bit lower. Aim more to the right. Aim a little higher. Steady now. Almost got it. Close. Now keep it steady. Close. Now keep it steady. Okay, a little higher. Okay, aim a little bit more to the left. Aim a little higher. 
a little bit more to the left. Steady now. Almost got it. Okay, aim a little bit more to the left. Aim lower. A bit to the right. A little bit lower. Aim more to the right. Close. Now keep it steady. A little bit more to the left. Steady now. Almost got it. A bit to the right. Aim lower. Okay. Aim a little bit more to the left. Okay, a little higher. I got it! Excellent. Good shot. A little bit more to the left. Aim a little higher. Okay. Aim a little bit more to the left. A little bit lower. Aim more to the right. Okay, a little higher. There you go. Nice! I did it! Yeah, you did. Good job. I was holding my breath, and the gun didn't shake so much. See, you did good. They're not walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay, I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh-uh. hands hurt and my ears have noise in them like you'll get used to it what do you think about Chuck I don't know me neither he might be an okay guy though you think we'll keep an open mind about him he's probably had it pretty rough what a crappy day the crappiest and three months ago I know what you'd be seeing I don't know if I would have taken you with me. I probably would have run out of food. You're damn near starved with me. I'm glad I came with you. So you're probably not gonna like this. Oh no. What happened? Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. What? Are you saying it smells? No. Because it does. Kinda. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it, and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. <sighs> okay. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mope. It's a good thing. Do you know how to do this? How hard can it be? I'm going to look like a boy. Shush now. So you did kill someone before? Yeah. I'm glad you finally told me. Me too. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. different but you do it now to protect yourself and to protect me I was sent to jail did people ever go to jail when they shouldn't all the time okay I think I'm about done I can probably tie these pieces back with something here I have some hair thingies you do 
Uh, yeah. Lily gave them to me for sleeping. There. All set. Does it look dumb? <laughs> no. You look cute. And a lot harder to grab. Hey, Ben. Hey. See you. Yeah. I found this if you want it. I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? No, I'm fine. Suit yourself. Mm. Anybody in there want to share a drink? You let them know. Will do. Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some? Yeah. Yeah, that'd help. There was a map of Savannah in the cab. That's where I would look. I'll talk it over with Clementine. Make sure she's got a sense of things by the time we arrive. Good. Have another with Chuck. You'll keep an eye out up here? Sure. Okay, then. Hey, Ben. Hey. See you. Yeah. If you ever need to talk. I don't see that need to happen. It should. I'll, uh, talk to you later, Kitty. It was me. Huh? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. What for? Why the hell would you do this? They said they had my friend, that he was with them. By the time I realized they didn't, it was too late. They said they'd kill me, kill all of us. I'm sorry, Lee. 
You still want to talk to me? Yeah, I do. I'm real sorry. Let's drop it for now, okay? What are you doing out here? I, uh, couldn't be back there anymore. I needed some air. Anything else? I was thinking about talking to Kenny. I guess not. I'm dead serious about you keeping your mistakes to yourself. I can tell. You get why, right? I guess. You better. See you. Yeah. Hey, Ben. Hey. See you. Yeah. Let me know if we're getting close or you see anything. Well, the girl can shoot. Doesn't have to be pretty. Probably will be, before too long. You get that hair sorted? Yeah, I don't think she cares for it. She will. Hey. Yo. Sorry about your hair. I think it looks cute, though. My mom isn't going to like it. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're going to do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. Plan. I like it. <laughs> Good. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. You need to know if they're okay. Well, if they're not, what happened to them? I'm sure they're okay. Don't get your hopes up. Let's look at the map. If we can figure out where they were, we can start there. Okay, let's. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. Now we've got a good chunk of Savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hmm. Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. There are a lot of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the M... M... something... Mar... Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! So we'll head there. Yes! You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I... tell my parents? You know... Sure. Go ahead. Alright. How do you feel? Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. And you're a good little chef. Thanks. I guess we should see how far- Oh, shit! Hold on, everybody! That's fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Hmm, I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. 
That thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This. Yo, you keep screaming like that and you're gonna get your face chewed off. Are you guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. Could be. Who are you? Two people who have a strategic position on you. Come on, hon. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah. You're standing right in front of him. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there. We won't let them escape. <laughs>